Hi, everybody. I want to show you how to access our one of our databases called Pebble Go. Um, I am currently on the Prescott Library homepage. You'll see that link right up top. You can enter that link into your browser and, and make it your favorites because during this remote learning, we have so many resources and so many ways that we can help you. You want to have this link um, to get the help you need. So we've created a family resource page and I'm going to click on it. And if you go to lower school, these are the resources for all of our lower school families. So I want you to click guides and resources. Okay. And we have so many, we've organized it by section. If you're looking for something to read, if you need homework help, um, and if you're just doing um, some science, uh, social studies, arts, or just research help. So the uh, database I'm going to talk to you guys about today is Pebble Go. And you'll find Pebble Go in a few of the categories here. The first time you see it is in homework resources. So I'm going to click on Pebble Go next. And right underneath is the user and password. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And this is what you'll see all the categories. So say if I was doing, I had to find information about a person, I would click on biographies and it will tell me all the people, all the categories of people that they have information about. So if you're doing a project about women um, and this is women advocates you're looking for, whole list for you of women doing amazing things. I'm going to look up um, Malayla. And it tells me who Malayla is. And if I'm someone and I'm not reading yet, I don't, I can't read all this yet. It will read it for me. And if I have to jot down some information, it's going to highlight the words as it reads. So if I want to write down the word, if I want to write down her last name, I can leave it on the highlighted spot and then I can write down her last name. Okay. So that's Pebble Go Next. There's also something called, I'm going back to the family resource page. There's also something called Pebble Go Animals. And I'm going to show you, it's, it looks a lot like Pebble Go Next, and this link can be found under science, okay? So Pebble Go Animals, I'm going to go to that. And this is where you need that login. So the username is Wheeler. It's right there on the um, family resource page for you, and the password is Mary. C, I'm going to hit go, and it gives me access to now animal databases, biographies, science, dinosaurs, and social studies. Some of the same things that you saw on Pebble Go Next are on Pebble Go Animals. So honestly, you can use either one. This is the animal database. They have information about so many animals. I'm going to go to reptiles. It reads it for you just like the other one. If I want to know some stuff about alligators, I'm going to go there. If I want to read it about what an alligator looks like, where it lives, what it eats, how it comes to be, some fun facts. And then you can click this purple link to give you more information about alligators um, and reptiles if you want to dive deeper. Okay. And so, um, again, this reads it for you and highlights it, right? So if I'm not reading yet, it will read it for me. And then if I want to copy down some of that information, like I want to write the word reptiles, it highlights it for you so you can see where you are and you can write it down. All right. That is the database uh, Pebble Go. Save the um, homepage here. There's the website up top. 
You can add it to your favorites. And this link right up top has so many helpful resources for you. And then if ever you're in trouble and you don't know how to access something, you can always ask our lovely, one of us, the uh, lovely librarians, okay? You can click ask a librarian and they're here to help you um, throughout the day. All right.